your way. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are off now to Innisvale. A whole bunch of stuff. I can't get in. Cut me right off. Oh, she's doing it on purpose. She thinks she's so funny. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're going places. Oh. Right, so we are well outside a place called the Discovery Wildlife Park in Innisvale, Alberta. We're gonna go see some animals. Sadie's super excited about it, aren't you? Yes. 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 Standing here talking about blizzards because you know you come into these parks, you get like coupons and stuff for Innisfail and whatnot. And I look over there, <clears> there's <throat> a lion. Get a room. You got a you got a pipe right there. Lindsay says, "All right, guys, get in the train." I don't know if I can fit in the damn train. Squish your, squish your muscles. That's pretty narrow. What the hell? It's clearly made for children. Oh, oh. I made it. I made it. I made it. You can share the space. Mom. Get in here, you weirdo. <laughs> and then we go out the hard way. Oh. Ooh. Woo. <laughs> I'm gonna get a sliver in my butt. Prince is here. <laughs> oh, that was ill advised. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, hello. Hey, boo boo, you got a picnic basket? Hi! You're so pretty! Why do you have color on your face? Hi! Hi! Oh! Hello! Hi! You're cute. The other one's like, I'm out. I'm going to my den. Hi!
All right, that was lots of fun. And one of the little free coupon things I got, uh, Lindsay got a 10% off at this place, Darkwoods Brewing and Coffee Roasting. And they got food too, so we're gonna go check it out. And Cantankerous Teenager is joining us. This is why she has thrown her flip-flops out of the car. Yeah, that's the Cantankerous noises. All right, that place was awesome. It turns out that Innisfail, Alberta, kind of a hidden gem. What was that place called? Dark Woods? Dark Wood, that brewery, delicious. We had the nachos, I had a smash burger. Hey, what is the big deal down here? <laughs> you really don't want to be in there? Penny's fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Lindsay ended up buying um, two different things of the beer, the honey brown and the amber. And now, of course, we're going to find out who will win crib game number two of the 2022 season. I am very ill-prepared for this. Hang on. I must be using this during the game, of course. The Cousins Cribbage Cup. Well, uh, a little help. <laughs> you take that out, doesn't oh, you fit. You want me to help you? Oh, boy. <laughs> Better. Ooh. There we go. Mmm, yeah, it tastes better in the koozie. I don't know if it tastes better, but it keeps it colder. But anyways, I did tons of filming, obviously, at that wildlife park and everything else, so the phone's kind of dead, so I'm gonna have to plug it in. To the blue eddy right here whilst we play our crib game. So I'm gonna get that set up, and then we will get on with our day. Of course, before I can do that, I'm gonna have to put this yappy cat away, because... There you go. Come here. And your Faja. Oh. She's like, let me help you. Oh, she's <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, Dixon, 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 not on the Dixon. Don't what like is the matter with you? That was my neck. Oh, yeah. You need more outdoors time, cat. You're crazy. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> she's like, no, no more though. Love the lovins. Was it too much? <laughs> oh, Penny. You want one of these, Penny? Or this? Or this? You want this? Hey. What's this? This? <laughs> yeah, that'll give you something to do while we play crib, eh? You love it? You love it? 
<laughs> Can I go play crib now? <laughs> Whoa. You need a mask. You have COVID. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Power. This thing's great. It's gonna charge the phone while we play, and it made all of our pina coladas last night, and probably will tonight. Last year's champion has his koozie. Cheers. Cheers. And we're gonna use these very fancy gold cards that I got from somebody. Still not sure who. I never met. They're it. slick. I got time. <laughs> like a spoon. <laughs> in this game, Matthew will be sporting the Dixon Merrimack. <clears throat> That's a new thing I thought I'd add. Dixon Merrimack? That's what this is called, the Merrimack. Yeah. Now quick, sing the song. Oh, Merrimack's mother's gonna Merrimack me. My mother's making me Merrimack. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> My mother's right, making me Merrimack. 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 Ah, we should have done show me and at the camera. Ha. Huh. What did we get? What up? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Uh, no, incorrect. You're in the stink hole. You have 10 points. Hold on. Oh, yeah. 5, 10. Eight, no! Eight, two. <laughs> 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. In the stink hole. That's no good. This has been the slowest game ever. <laughs> I guess I've stopped the music, so we'll just do this whole hand as the finale. Oh, boy. It's my bloody crib, too, which just doesn't matter. I have to hold, I have to peg five points before you peg one. That's not going to happen. Okay, you're gonna cut me a jack too. That's what you're gonna do. Ooh. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Uh, just, I don't know. Jack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so stressful. <laughs> 30. <laughs> there it is. Now we're there tied. It is. Now we I are think tied. I had five points before. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're completely tied. Oh gosh. <laughs> Whoa. That was intense. Mm -hmm. was our... Oh, you got it. Okay. It's always yeah. I guess I could do that in here. <laughs> ah, I just reversed it. Matthew five. <laughs> Lindsay zero. <laughs> oh, you had a nice crib. Ooh. Five to five. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna have a perfect game. Season. We out for a little walk after the crib game. I had to change the shirt because it's getting a little cooler. But man, is it pretty down here. Well, the shot would have worked if the exposure circle had stayed on the sky.
This. <laughs> Rules and restrictions. Instructions. Oh, that's fine. Now I just I almost forgot. Lindsay's booze of choice for this trip. Bacardi lemon. I'm telling you, it's coming in real handy. If you like pina coladas. Even if it's in the rain. <laughs> She's not wrong. Oh, now I'm just, now I'm just uncomfortable. Come on, come here. Come here, that's like crazy, perfect. What? All right, Lindsay just had a great idea. We've got some strawberries here with us, and we're going to make some strawberry pina coladas. But it's on her. She's trying to figure out how to do it. I'm thinking. I already figured it out. Just add the strawberries to the blender. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> what was your all lost in thought idea over there? I was going to take the hammer part of one of our knives covered in tin foil and beat the living crap out of it and then we put it at the bottom of the cup and mm. then put the um pina colada stuff on top of it mm -hmm. so you get a slurp of the strawberry and into the pina colada but yours is much faster and efficient so <laughs> just, just put it in the blender or dress up a knife with tin foil and beat the shit out of the strawberries <laughs> you know, the Great day just cleaning that up. Just dump it out and throw it on the roof. That's all you can do. Yeah. Wow. Turns out, I 
I need a rain jacket in Lucky. <laughs> so it's actually, it was, it's, it's nice. Lindsay and I were talking, we, she always stresses herself out by looking at the like uh, weather reports before we go camping and they usually always say like rain or clouds or cold or however, and it never usually pans out. Um, and it was the same way on this trip. We got super lucky with the really nice weather. Yeah, the animal sanctuary place, the wildlife park, whatever, was a little windy and breezy, but it was still fun to get out there and do that. And there was no real rain right until the very end. And even once we got back to the campground last night, rain had all gone away. I don't even think it had rained here while we were gone, honestly. And of course, we wake up this morning and now here we go. So I got a note to self, don't leave the catio out if there's going to be rain or at least put it underneath the awning or something because that thing is you know, a whole bunch of yuck right now <laughs> and it's nice and strapped to the ladder so hopefully it'll be fine till I can get it back to Lindsay's backyard and I'll deploy it, hose it down and, and then let it dry over the next couple days. The state of the van like most camping trips is an absolute disaster right now so I'm going to spend the morning tidying it up and that'll be a wrap for Red Lodge. So until the next one you guys just go out there be happy, be creative, be yourselves most importantly be positive and I will see you all in the next one. Sorry, this is too funny.